everyone. In this video, I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to get started creating a digital Notan design using Google Drawing. So here I have a worksheet already created. I've got a square or rectangle that's black in the center of my canvas in Google Drawing. And I've got directions over here and I'm going to just follow through them really quickly. So first, the step one says using the shape tool, I need to insert a shape. And you can see me doing this here. I'll just click on uh, this one here. I need to insert a shape along the edge of my square. So I'm going to put that right about here. Okay. Notice how my shape is touching the edge of my black square. Then it tells me in the directions that I need to have the border be transparent and I need to fill it with black. Here's how I'll do that. I will change the border color to transparent and I will use the fill color bucket and pour in black. All right, next step. I'm going to create a copy of this shape. While my shape is selected, I'm going to either right click and then click copy, or I could do the shortcut control plus C, or I could go up to edit to also get to copy. So you're going to choose one of these methods to create a copy of your shape, and then you need to paste that shape. So to paste again, I could go to edit paste, or I could click control plus V or I could right click and then click paste. All right, there's my copy. Okay, next I am going to fill the copy with white. So fill with white paint, make sure my border color is transparent. And now the fun part, I need to flip this shape so that it is a mirror image of the first one. So to do that, I need to go to Arrange. Okay, I'm going to click on Arrange, down to Rotate, and over to Flip. Now we have two choices, Flip Horizontally or Flip Vertically. I need to flip down, right? I need to go from up to down. That's vertical. Okay, I'm going from up to down, Vertical Flip, Flip Vertically. Now I'm going to drag this and I'm going to line it up with the bottom of the shape, like so. Okay, that's it. Now the directions state that I need to repeat steps one through four, which I just did, on all four sides. So I need to do this a few more times here. Let me demonstrate once more. I'm going to do one over here. So I'm going to go to insert shape. Let's do, uh, let's do uh, this shape here. That looks fun. Okay, so I'm going to click and drag to make my shape. There we go. All right, I'm going to make a transparent border, fill with black, copy and paste and fill my copy with white. Okay, now I need to flip. Now this time when I go to arrange, rotate and flip, I'm going now from left to right, left to right. Notice that makes a horizontal line left to right. So I flip horizontally okay, and then I drag it out. Now you might be thinking, what's, the, what's this big deal about flipping? I can just drag and drop. Yes, you can. But when you get more complicated shapes, which you're going to see me doing in just a moment, you'll understand why it would not be a good idea to just try to drag and drop because most of the shapes you create with your Notan designs should be complex, intricate, and ex expressing some kind of theme. So right now as we practice, it we're starting simply, but we're going to get much more complex as we go. All right, so now last thing is, as you're working and you're creating your different shapes, one on each side, you can also do some layering of shapes. So watch this. I could do another shape inside of here. Let me go to insert shape. And I'm going to pick the same shape here and put another one right there inside. Okay, I'm going to make this one white now so that it's opposite. And when I copy it, I'm going to then paste it and fill it black. Like so. I'll flip it down rotate vertically and drag. 
So first, what I'm gonna recommend that you do is zoom in a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go up to select a line and I'm gonna first do this with the curve tool. So I'm gonna click curve. And this time I wanna show you how you can begin creating your shapes using the black part first. So I'm gonna start actually working inward now. So I'm going to click on the edge right here. Okay, and then I'm going to bring my line out and I'm just gonna make kind of like a, uh, just a weird shape right now, kind of like a leaf, I guess. So every time I click, it makes a bend. This is sort of looking like a palm leaf, I guess. Something like that. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna come to the edge and then I'm gonna come all the way back to where I started from and click. Okay, now it has created a shape. So since this is on the inside, since I have done this on the inside of the black area, I'm gonna first make the border transparent, but then I'm gonna fill the color with white, not with black this time first. I'm gonna fill with white first. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to create a copy of this shape. Now, right now I'm still in the line feature. So I need to go up to my select arrow, select my shape. I'm gonna copy, right click, copy, right click, paste. Okay, now I have my second one. I'm gonna fill that with black and I'm gonna rotate it. So I could either click arrange and then come down to rotate or I could right click and rotate will be an option there too. And I wanna take this up, taking it up. Notice my hand is going up and that means I'm going to flip vertically. Okay, so rotate, flip vertically. And I'm gonna drag this up. Okay, drag it up so that it's right there on the edge. And let's zoom out and see it. There you have it. Okay, so you're gonna do at least, create at least two shapes using the polyline or curve tool. Let me just do a quick one with the polyline tool. So I'm gonna click polyline. I'm gonna come in right here and do a zigzaggy one. So with the polyline tool, you don't get curves. Instead you get, um, you get, you know, sharp corners to create a polygon. Here we go, I've got that shape made, transparent, change to white, copy and paste it. Oh. Wait, notice first I have uh, I have that plus sign, so that means I am in the line tool. So I must hit the arrow to select or escape would also um, select as well as a shortcut. Now I can copy, paste, fill black, and then rotate down. And rotating down means flipping vertically and I'll drag it. There we go. Okay, and you don't wanna do any turning of it. You, you really just wanna drag it because you want it to be a direct copy. It should be a perfectly mirror image. I hope this tutorial helps you get started on creating no tan designs on your own. Once you feel comfortable practicing, you will then be ready to create a no tan design using a theme where you're really thinking about the shapes you're making and not just playing around. Have fun. <music>